Yeah, guys, that's right. They made it a point to read the very books that have been targeted by State Superintendent Ryan Walters and the State Board of Education. And now this book club is celebrating the recent opinion from the State Supreme Court. Honestly, I think that ruling was a no-brainer. Lori Dickinson Black is a mom of Edmond Public School students. She's also the owner of Bluebird Books in Edmond and creator of Reading the Band Books Club. She's reacting to the state Supreme Court's decision in favor of Edmond Public Schools. I think instead of just making assumptions, you should really read the book and see what's being discussed. She says they formed the club in support of the district. History shows us that no good society comes from banning books. After the Department of Education told Edmund they had to remove specific books from the library or risk an accreditation downgrade, the district sued, asking the state Supreme Court to step in, saying library decisions need to be made at the local level. So I think it's really important not to impede on, you know, my opportunity for our kids to read The Glass Castle and experience that, not to make that choice for us. The club recently organized a reading of one of the books in question, The Glass Castle. The event sold out. Life-changing teachers where they're at right now. And I get goosebumps still thinking about the event because you saw adults working through issues uh, and feeling like they were in a safe place to discuss a topic. She says one of the most impactful moments was a discussion led by sophomore English teachers within Edmond Public Schools. Seeing these expert educators passionately teaching their students um, English in a way that meets them right where they are. And the Band Book Club is planning another event for September. The focus of that event will be Kite Runner, the other book that is currently being targeted by the state with this lawsuit. Reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.